Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. Emily Dickinson is talking about the hope that abides in all of us. To preach at a wedding is both a privilege and a burden. The privilege is obvious, is to participate in this special way in Maya and Kurt's declaration of love to each other for life. The burden perhaps is not so obvious. It's what can I say to the two of you? There's nobody here this morning who can tell you what your love means to each other. Uh, that's something private, something intimate, even sacred. What I can tell you, however, is what your love means to the rest of us who are delighted to share this, uh, this wedding with you. I would say that, first of all, the two of you are a sign of hope to the rest of us. You both come to this marriage with considerable life experience. You know that love is not always a romantic and uncomplicated affair. You know how difficult it can be to juggle all the variables that go into a life of li living together and commitment toward each other. And you're still committed, heart and soul, to doing this, to moving forward in this marriage, marriage enterprise. You are a sign of hope for us. I've known Maya now for 32, uh, 32 years, and uh, so, you know, what do you say? Well, you know, she's become, for me, uh, uh, an adult I'm very proud of. Uh, very determined uh, young woman, very focused, got down there, and that focus was there when she was young. It's a young woman I'm really, I'm really uh, proud of, and so I put her into your care, you know, with the with the uh, request that you really look after her, she deserves she deserves the best. I Kurt take you, Maya, for my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I, Maya, take you, Kurt, for my lawful husband, for my lawful husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, until death do us part, until death do us part. My very first memories of Maya were around the time of our grandparents' 40th wedding anniversary. At the time, and I'm gonna cry immediately, um, I called her Baby Maya. And although she was too young to call me anything back and too young to remember any of it, she was immediately one of my most favorite people in the world. Uh, I'd first like to say, if given 24 hours to live, Kurt Turner would be one of the first people on my list to make sure I spent time with before I died. Kurt and I have been really good friends since I met him. He is the most honest, thoughtful, and sincere person that I've known in my entire life. One of the first lessons I remember learning from my mom is that siblings are like built-in best friends. I see, I'm already crying. <laughs> um, the best built-in best friends a person could ever have. In middle school, she was no longer baby Maya, but we decided that the right thing to do was to call each other girlfriend, much the annoyance of everyone around her. But the girlfriend phase didn't last long, and we decided that really what we needed to do is what we still do today and call each other babe still annoying pretty much anyone around us when we talk to each other. And I feel like Kurt has found his treasure. I feel like right now, and I told Maya this, that when I met her, 
I immediately knew that she was right for him. And I haven't said that about a lot of things about Kurt for a lot of, a lot of times that we've shared things I haven't agreed with, but this I agree with. And I, I really just want to raise my glass and say cheers to both of you guys, because I love you, man. Cheers. So let's raise a glass to Maya and Kurt. They are simply the best. To Maya and Kurt. May they reach old age in the company of their friends and come at last to your kingdom in heaven. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is my pleasure to present to you now Mr. and Mrs. Maya and Kurt Turner.